my name is Juan. I'm a black belt under Josh Griffiths. I teach at Clockwork New York. I was born and raised in Ecuador. Came to the United States when I was 17. Joined the Army when I was 18. Served for nine years. Did three deployments to Iraq. Mary, have three awesome kids. My wife is beautiful. After my first deployment to Iraq, I was doing a lot of alcohol, uh, tried to commit suicide. Once I found Jiu Jitsu, it kind of gave me a different battle. I was just doing something, trying to survive for an hour, 45 minutes. And, you know, the community, knowing the people with similar stories, different backgrounds, I have gone through the same stuff that I've been through. And, you know, maybe not in the army, not maybe losing friends in the in war, but, you know, just losing a friend in the street, which is relatable to the, all the things that I went through. Funny story, how I started in Jiu Jitsu but it's because I got into a fight with a sergeant major. So as a punishment, they sent me to the Army Combatants Program and then I fell in love with it. When I got out of the Army, I gave up on my MMA dream because at the time that I was doing it, it didn't pay enough. I had two kids at the time. So I found a, a, a Jiu Jitsu gym in Brooklyn and this Brazilian guy, he was like, you're good, but you need to do gi. So he threw a gi uh, on my face and he was like, all right, now you're a gi guy. I don't want to see you without a gi. And ever since, man, I fell in love with a gi. Um, using the lapels, how you can weaponize one piece of clothing. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, so from, from that day on, I fell in love with a gi so much that majority of my training now is still on the gi. The gi is a beautiful thing. The gi is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. lovely part of the day when somebody's trying to to make you tap or or, or squeeze you, you, your neck and you're just trying to survive and then at the end of the day you guys shake hands and go like good job so you know it's always awesome.